So hello everyone! It is another beautiful day over at the lake behind our house and we're on a nice little walk and we looked up and there are these tall poles that bat boxes are built up on and these are meant to provide little homes for the native bat population so they'll have somewhere to go, somewhere to kind of stay out of the way since there's not a lot of um, caves and other trees in the area since we're in the middle of a neighborhood and we were wondering if there was anyone in the bat box and there is but it's not bats <laughs> it's actually paper wasps so these are the wasps that make the paper nests and if you guys remember a couple specimens Saturdays ago we looked up close at one of the paper wasp nest specimens that I have at home and this is them in the action of actively building a nest. You can already see where they have the little caps put on. So see up here where there's like a little bit of whiteness? That's where they've capped over some of the tubes and they have some babies in there, some larvae or some food that they have stored. And you can see there's a whole bunch of members of this family. So this is different than the mud daubers that we also looked at. Mud daubers are kind of solitary where they live with like a male and female raising their young. And these paper wasps live in a colony kind of like bees do. So they'll have a queen who's up there laying the fertilized eggs and kind of dictating what everyone does. And unlike bees, they're not going around gathering nectar from flowers to turn into honey inside of their, their beehive but they're gathering food for the colony, food for the babies, and they defend the entire wasp nest together. So there's probably not a lot of bats, even though bats do eat insects, coming up and messing with these guys to climb up in their bat box right now. It's probably pretty darn empty when it comes to that. But you can see all of the ladies, and I'm not sure I'm going to have to look up if it's both male and female paper wasps, that help to build their community home. But you can see them up there. They're way high up there, so sorry the camera's so shaky. I'm zoomed in, and I've got my arm out, and they don't really, they're not really paying attention to me. And actually, that's what I've read about paper wasps, is they are not very aggressive. And remember, these guys are fantastic pollinators. So having them in the area actually is a great thing for keeping a certain pest species of insect down and it's great for having plenty of pollinators to take care of the native flora. Not great for the bats who might have wanted to use the bat box but these guys will stay possibly until it gets cold uh, until winter and then the queen will go off to hibernate somewhere until the next year and the others will either die or just go off on their own and by then all of the babies should have hatched but right about now you can just see everyone's kind of cleaning their legs they're tending to their, their nests, they're taking care of the babies, and they're just being a little community. And they're so high up, they're not really flying around because they're not bothered by all of us down here. But there we go. So now you see an active paper wasp nest, and you see that colony community behavior among these guys like we were talking about. So that's really fun. And they all are just kind of like relaxing. So that was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't, go back and check the video that we have on their nest up close. You can actually see details of the beautifully made paper wasp nest. It's much, much bigger than this one. This one almost looks like an open honeycomb structure. And the other one is a complete paper wasp nest. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.